subscribe to the new Liam 07. Thanks. Got pictures with O'Reilly, Turnbull, McGregor, Jens, and Hart already. After joining us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel discussing the Sky's new deal. Also, Kieran Tierney set for a huge jackpot um, move to Man City. Celtic have a 15% selling cost. That could mean a lot of money for Celtic, especially going into Champions League group stages with that 40 million. Practically spent with obviously Jota and Carter Vickers done and uh, the likes of Bernabe, Sigrist in as well and Maya to still coming in permanent. We talk all about that, let's get into it. So Sky and SPFL are discussing new TV deal that will set um, 29.5 million to show 60 Premiership matches. Um, it's extended its deal until 2029 with Sky Sports, which um, entitled up to show 60 matches uh, a season for a payment of 29.5 million. Uh, Sky's existing deal with SPFL, which allows a maximum of 48 games a season, um, is due to expire in 2025, so a couple of years' time. Uh, that deal's set around out. Um, Sky will, will continue with that limit next a season and next a, a cost of 25 million and 26 million, respectfully, from the 24 25 season. Season the 20, 60 match limit triggers a 27 million payment, which will increase by almost 2 million for the next four seasons. Sky will have the option of a full 10 match um, SPFL bundles at the cost of around 4 million from 2024 20, 25 season. Um, also, in the past two seasons, they've you know show short while of 48 matches. You've seen that on Saturday, you know, Celtic TV was the only way you could watch it. Uh, Fire stick, obviously. Um, it wasn't on Sky, it wasn't on BT, you see like the Amazon Prime and all that coming up. Um, 60 games with drives to option to visit each top flight club around five times, um, with a minimum of um, maximum of four um, times. On top, the Scottish clubs added increased scope to sell five of the home matches, which is good to see in a pay-per-view base, obviously you couldn't do that on Saturday Isla, which is disappointing if you didn't have a fire stick or didn't have Celtic TV, you couldn't have watched it, so <laughs> that's the point where, you know, they need to go back to that, because it was even good last season, they still had it, like so Livingston was probably the dearest, £20 I think it was, but you'd pay that, just, you know, to see the match, um, and if it, you know, <laughs> UK blackout was on Saturday as well, you know, obviously Sky won, um, Celtic was, so blackout, um, and... <laughs> It, it is disappointing that, but hopefully we get a more improved one with um, you know, Celtic look like continue domestic dominance, dominance um, obviously with Rangers shaking up a new side. Um, obviously losing games are coming. Um, obviously the English, English Premier League have more games and they've got bigger teams, bigger names, Ronaldo, um, all that. So obviously they're going to get more games in Scottish football, but Scottish football obviously last night wasn't the best, I've shown it. 7-0 against AZ Altmar, Dundee United, but Celtic are in the Champions League group stages, Rangers are in the playoffs, which hopefully get put off by PSV, they're a very good side. Um, uh, developing obviously Amazon Prime into Premier League is obviously a speculation that Scotland may pursue an alternative broadcast, so obviously BT did it a couple of years ago, 20, I remember that was really good, Chris Sutton arguing with everybody, it was really good. Um, and obviously um, Sky kind of pushed it in 2021 season. You know, I said there's no rush of bidders for, you know, but there is a point now where 20 and a half, 29 and a half million for Scottish football, which is growing. Um, obviously, Dun United didn't really get short, but, you know, they're in qualifiers for Europe. More well work, you know. Um, Scottish football is really developing. Um, and is really doing really well at the club. Champions League football, it's going to be a big draw. So two weeks today is the draw. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's absolutely low the risk of, you know, it's shutting off Scottish football, not showing it. Um, and twenty nine and a half million, which would go into the twenty eight twenty nine season, set to be a, it's like it's a laughing statement. You know, you see these big clubs getting so much money for television. Um, obviously, Celtic will have BT. If the big teams are playing the Champions League, it will be on Amazon Prime, which is disappointing because then you have to pay for another service. But at least it's on the telly, something rather than you seen Saturday against Ross County it was poor. Um, but that's pretty much the Sky deal. Hopefully, we get a new improve on our new new. Um, different service, Amazon Prime, uh, BT Sport, uh, but something different would be really nice because Sky are really just pushing it at the point where it's not looking good, um, especially for, you know, Celtic and Rangers who don't get a lot of, they do get a lot of games in the telly, but, you know, the teams that Celtic come up against, St Mirren, Ross County, all these teams in the league don't get a lot of money as well, so it'd be good to see them uh, get a lot of more money into the club, um, and that's pretty much the Sky deal. Um, Sky, 
disappointing, but hopefully get a new improved one. Kieran Tierney, he's eyed for a Man City transfer with Celt um, Celtic in line for a mega sell on trans uh, sell on cause. Fifteen percent, I think their sell on cause is so um, that's really good. Uh, he was a Celtic legend, I would call him, uh, a Celtic hero. He was the captain at Celtic for a couple of games at go against Kilmarnock. Oh, was in the League Cup was brilliant. Um, he's got a brilliant talent, you know, a men's talent, and it's still Celtic's biggest ever sale. Um, obviously, Arsenal signs Zinchenko for Man City early in the window, which could pave a, a move for Tierney to go to Ars uh, Man City. Uh, Keon, Keon Tierney also lived a dream at Celtic, you know, being captained and invincible season as well. I uh, love to see a, a, a club that will no, win Premier Leagues. It's not win a Champions League yet, but it will win trophies, don't, on a regular basis, you know, FA Cups, like Premier Leagues. Um, you know, they're not Arsenal, not the Ar Arsene Wenger side anymore, are they, you know what I mean? They, they might win a trophy off, you know, off point, you know, but just to now, they're doing okay, uh, the Europa League, you know, um, but um, that's pretty much it. So Celtic are set for if it was big money, I think Real Madrid were interested as well, but Man City are the front runners now, uh, and you'd be winning, you know, Premier Leagues, FA Cups, League Cups, so there's trophies to win there, you know, compared to Arsenal and uh, the Europa League, they haven't won a trophy in a while, so we'll see how that goes, um, but yeah, that's Keir Tierney. Um, but to finish off the video, if you have enjoyed it so far, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, we'll still make it three wins on three on Sunday as they go to Rugby Park uh, to face Ayrshire side Kilmarnock, who newly promoted side um, promoted last season uh, on their Celtic Scottish Premiership defence. Uh, obviously, in opening weekend, Celtic beat Aberdeen here at, at Flag Day 2-0, um, thanks to Stephen Welsh and uh, Jota's wonder goal. Um, and Saturday there, you've seen Ross, well, you've never seen it on the telly, seen the highlights. Ross County put up a really good fight, a hard-fought win for Celtic as they made it two wins out of two. Um, it was a really good goal from Kyogo. Jota got a hat-trick of assists. Um, Kyogo got a goal, obviously Ross County hit back. And then, obviously, Murray Shens, I've got a picture of Melo and I'll put it on the screen now. Um, of the other pitch, uh, players as well um, over there. Um, he was a really good He's so tall, and we needed we missed a striker like you know, missed a striker, a defender like him. You know, he can score goals. You know, Starfield can really do it. Carvex do his his feet, but Jens can do it with his head, which is really good. Um, and obviously, a bad as goal to finish off. It was a stunning goal. Um, but yeah, um, obviously the top of the table due to goal difference to, uh, on Sunday. Uh, Rangers are playing tomorrow Saturday, um, and. <laughs> I'm just looking for another good performance. Uh, it's another away match. Also, we don't play at Celtic Park till a week tomorrow against Hearts. But no, we Sunday actually because the Hearts are playing in Europe. Um, but yeah, talking about you know SPFL, the Scottish League being more out there. You know, Hearts are in the Europa League qualifiers. They're guaranteed Conference League anyway if they don't get through this tie with Zurich. Um, so they've had a tough time. Come on, you know they've I've got a draw against Dundee United. Obviously played in Europe now out of Europe. Uh, obviously wasn't an easy afternoon for them at Ibrox. They get beat two 0 um, and obviously they faced the other side. They were from to, uh, on Sunday against Celtic. I expect Celtic to go there with a win. I think a couple of changes. Obviously Tati he went out for Turnbull. Um, I think if Tati's fit, put him back. I missed that energy from Tati on Saturday there. Uh, a bad, I would definitely go on with Jota. A Jota on the left, a bad on the right. Because you've seen that when they put them on Saturday, the changes was brilliant. We got the goal from each end, I think that was the main point. The, the tempo was up, the speed, the energy was up. We just weren't create enough the, that first half, especially before we put a couple of changes on, we got the goal. In Ross County scored, it was, you know, but um, it's got to be a bad on uh, Jota on Sunday. Uh, Kyogo, Yakimakis, that pitch, Arsenal tough, I hate it. It shouldn't be in the Premiership, but... I'd go Yakimakis, he's really about um, Kamarnock play a the similar way to Ross County where you know they've got good defenders. I think Yakimakis would suit this pitch. But play Kyogo if you want, I think Kyogo will play well, but I think Yakimakis really would have suited that game against Ross County. But you know, we'll see how it goes on Sunday. Uh, they've not beaten Celtic in nine attempts. Um, I remember that years when Kamarnock beat Celtic all the time at a rugby part, it was horror times. Uh, but yeah, Mellon Boo, the BQ obviously there as well, Jesus. Um, but yeah, um, I expect pra practically the same approach the man's on Sunday. Uh, it'll be a tough tie, uh, tie. obviously with Kamarok, they're looking to try to do something in their own park. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go with a 2-0 Celtic win. Uh, and I'll see you guys obviously for Sunday for the match reaction in the video. But aye, thanks for watching.